All right, so a couple of months ago, I made a video titled How I Color Grade S-Log2 in Final Cut Pro. And recently I received a comment from a guy called Honeypot that basically says, is there a benefit to shooting S-Log2 over S-Log3? And at the time I replied and I said, yeah, you know, I'm used to S-Log2 and also, you know, it's easier to work with in post, there's less grading required. But the truth is I've never actually worked with S-Log3. So I thought today would be a great opportunity to find out if there really is a difference. And I just want to put that to the test today. I have filmed two clips that are virtually identical, one in S-Log2, one in S-Log3. Every other setting is the same. And today I'm going to bring them into Final Cut and we're going to really see is there a difference in how you color grade these and in the final product. So let's get into it right now. So I'm going to begin with what I know and what I know is S-Log2 and let's try and apply a grade to this. Let's bring some contrast back into this clip. Next I'm going to slap a LUT on it's my favorite LUT, the M31 log LUT. I'm gonna set that to 50% because that's what I like to do. Basically, this is just my usual workflow. I am in my own little world right now where I am grading, so forgive me, guys. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with S-Log2. It took me around four, five minutes to grade. Um, I say grade loosely because I did use a lot, but I'm gonna try S-Log3 now and we'll see the difference. So uh, yeah, let's do that now. Our first sort of inspection, you can definitely see that the S-Log3 footage is flatter looking than the S-Log2 footage. By that I mean there's definitely less contrast, so we're gonna have to put some more into this. Uh, maybe it gives you more dynamic range. I'm uh, very sure there's a benefit to it being flatter. It gives you more control, I guess. So let's try and uh, have a play around with this now and you'll soon see how I get on with that. Again, usual process, adding my lot. Uh, putting some saturation back in. I'm gonna try to begin with just doing the same as what I did with the S-Log2 and we'll see where we get with it. I am gonna tweak the light balance to match S-Log2. Really is crazy because it does look different and matching these isn't gonna be as straightforward as I thought it was gonna be, but there is definitely a different process to this. There's a potential that I'm seeing some more banding and noise in the shadows there. Like, as you can see, that is quite nasty. And there's the potential that maybe you need to sort of shoot it a bit more overexposed than you do with S-Log2. I think that looks like it could possibly be the case because I've definitely lost some detail there in the shadows. And I mean, if I play with my, yeah, if I play with the shadows themselves and bring that up a bit, I can sort of lose some of that. definitely got a different look and I think it is going to be up to what you as the individual are sort of more familiar with if you're up, if you're used to S-Log3 and you've got the hang of it. Okay so I've spent around 15 minutes putting together what I think is an acceptable grade for each. I'm just going to put it out there I'm not completely happy with the S-Log3 grade. I think it looks okay and I will put a comparison at the end so you guys can see the difference and you can let me know which one you actually prefer or if there's anything you would do differently. Again, I am not an expert on either of these. I'm not a, I'm not someone who color grades for a living. I'm a videographer and color grading is just part of my process, but it's definitely not what I specialize in. Um, if there's anything you would do different, please do let me know. It took me around 15 minutes overall. It was very difficult actually matching the clips. Yeah, so to answer the initial comment, is there any benefits to using S-Log2 or S-Log3? Personally, I am gonna stick with S-Log2. It's what I'm used to, and I think out of camera, it was slightly easier getting the contrast that I was hoping for. But other than that, S-Log3 is definitely something I could see myself trying a bit more. So there is the difference between, between S-Log2 and 3. It's quite clear. It's a different workflow. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions or even tips for me, please do let me know in the comments. 
it would be great to hear what you guys have to say. I enjoyed making this, it was a fun little challenge. Feel free to subscribe because I will be posting more stuff like this. If you have any other questions about videography or filmmaking in general, or even just life of a freelancer, please do feel free to hit me up in the comments and I will answer any of those. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.